to utilization. Yuhui Li, Leibniz Institute for Catalysis, Rostock. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to talk about CO2, right? So, big professor, so we have to talk about, and also the big company leaders. Um, nowadays, carbon dioxide is often mentioned in the media negatively. I think this is maybe the, the only feeling for the normal people. So it's annoying news every time you heard CO2, okay, it's causing maybe blah, blah. But for me, particularly, when I saw this picture two years ago during a conference, I was shocked to see my country is producing so much CO2. At that moment, as a Chinese chemist, I decided I must do something rather than just feeling sad. So I focused on the chemistry of CO2. Okay, so long, long time ago, before the Industrial Revolution, the, atmosphere, the atmospheric CO2 levels were some, somehow relative for a long time, millions of years. But now, after the revolution, so we know that, we're using the fossil fuels, which was formed from the biomass and also from the photo, which is formed from the photosynthesis from CO2 for energy purpose. We're using these fossil fuels too much and we release far too much CO2 than plants can cope with. And uh, that's why we need to find new methods, chemical methods, to try to fix this balance back. However, from a chemical point of view, it's not easy. Simply because this molecule is very stable and it has a linear structure and you need to input more energy to bend and activate this molecule. But in the ideal world, CO2 should not be regarded as a waste. It should be seen, rather, it should be seen as a material for energy storage or a chemical stock study material. But how we do it? Um, our method is, was inspired by, by nature. And uh, the catalyst there, the special compound based, uh, based on a metal, uh, is, is the one we found, which is catalyzing these reactions very well. The key to success is the catalyst's ability to tolerate acidic environment, which is a very important factor in these reactions. This allows this catalyst to catalyze the hydrogenation of CO2 to form acid, which is an acid, reversibly and also go further steps to transform formic acid to more valuable compounds. By using this, oh sorry, by, by using this catalyst, we can, we can break the CO2 utilization for the purpose of uh, hydrogen storage and also production of fun chemicals. Thank you very much. Um, with your catalyst, how much energy do you still need to put into your system um, to get to the formic exactly acid? Exactly, I have to say we are breaking the wall of CO2 utilization. Right now we have to input energy still. <coughs> but the, the energy, like for the <coughs> hydrogen, we can, we can get in the future from solar cells, from solar, solar, solar energy. So, sorry. Thank you very much.